Welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to move WordPress from a subdomain to the root domain of your website. The method used here will also preserve your search engine rankings. This is the most straightforward method I know to get WordPress out of a subdomain and into the root directory. This video is from kingsolutions.org.uk where you will find WordPress and small business solutions for non techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, then consider clicking on the subscribe button. Ok, let us begin. Moving WordPress, Subdomain to Root Domain As search engines consider a subdomain to be a totally different website to your main domain, you need to make sure, when performing this modification, that search engines are correctly redirected to the root domain. Correct redirection will help preserve search rankings after moving your website. A subdomain is a domain that is part of a larger domain, an extension of your root domain name. If you installed WordPress in a subdirectory, and not a subdomain, then this is not the tutorial for you. Please see my tutorial, How to Move WordPress from a Subdirectory to the Root Domain. Before continuing, create a complete backup of your site. This should include a database backup as well as a copy of all your site's files and folders. If you have an automated WordPress backup solution installed, force it to make a complete backup now. This is to ensure you have the latest update. When you have created a complete backup, store it in a safe place, such as on your computer. Do not store it on the server. If you do not have an automated backup installed, there are plenty of WordPress backup plugins you can use to keep your WordPress content safe. Install one now. Clean public HTML directory. Move any old WordPress related site files from the public HTML, www or root, directory to a folder called backup. This includes any index.html and index.php files. Do not move server related folders in the public HTML directory such as CGI bin. It's okay for those to stay in place. You must remove all those old WordPress site files and folders, so they don't interfere with the new WordPress install. Having an index.html and index.php in the same folder causes confusion, and it's highly probable that the index.html file will be used instead of the WordPress index.php file. Maintenance mode. There is a good chance visitors to your site will see a broken site during the process of moving WordPress from subdomain to root domain. In which case, you might like to consider putting your WordPress site into maintenance mode. Many sites use a maintenance mode page to improve their visitors' experience. No one likes to visit a broken site. Copy WordPress files from subdomain to root folder. Next, copy all the files in the subdomain folder to the root folder. This can be done using the cPanels file manager or an FTP client such as FileZilla. Leaving the original subdomain in place, will enable your site to continue running. Leaving the subdomain of the site intact is a nice option, as it allows you to keep the WordPress site installed in the subdomain as a test zone. Be patient, depending upon the size of your website, this process could take quite some time. Change URL settings. At this stage, trying to log into the root website will simply send you back to the subdomain website's admin area. We'll fix that next. Using the cPanels file editor or text editor attached to your FTP client, edit the wp-config.php file in the root directory of your domain. You will need to change the defines, WP home and WP site URL, to reflect your new site location, and replace mysite.com with your own domain name. You can now visit your WordPress site's admin area on the root domain name. Just log in as usual. URL, update. Although your WordPress site has been moved to the root domain, there will still be links inside the WordPress database pointing to the subdomain. This is a common problem when moving WordPress to a new domain or directory, the permalinks or URLs embedded in the content is not updated with the move. This means that images and other content will not be shown. We will fix that problem next. Download, install, and activate the Velvet Blues Update URLs plugin. This plugin fixes the broken links problem. It updates permalinks, URLs, and content links in your website to reflect the move to the new domain or directory. Once activated, from the WordPress dashboard, click Tools Update URLs. This brings you to start of the Velvet Blues Update URL setup process. Enter the subdomain website address in the old URL field. Enter the main website address in the new URL field. Under Choose which URLs should be updated, check all options except Update all GUIDs. 
Make sure you do not check, update all GUIDs. Double check your entries, especially your spelling, and click the update URLs now button when you are ready to continue. The plugin will now update all URLs in your WordPress database. This may take some time. Once finished, you should see a success message. Redirect all subdomain traffic to the root domain. With the WordPress files moved, and all pointers to the subdomain corrected, you need to ensure your subdomain traffic is redirected to the root domain website. In your subdomain folder, edit or create a .ht access file. To redirect subdomain traffic to the root domain enter the following code. I will place the code below the video, so you can copy and paste. You may need to force your FTP client, or cPanel file manager to show hidden files in order to see the .ht access file. When using this code, you will need to replace subdomain, with your subdomain. Replace domain, with your domain name, and replace com, with your top level domain. Note that the rewrite rule shown here, uses a non www URL. If you want to use www in your root domain, you will need to add a www prefix to your code. Clean cache. If you are using a caching plugin, you will need to delete all cached pages to ensure current content is displayed. Congratulations! You have successfully moved your site from subdomain, to root domain. You can now visit your website to see it in action. Your final task, is to thoroughly test your website to make sure everything is working as it should. Well, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, then click on the like button below, and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon, and thanks again for taking the time to view this video.